there are tons of essential tactics and maneuvers in Battlefield 2042 I am positive you are not using. I'm going to tell you about some of those tactics today, including flanking. This is one of my squad's favorite techniques to gain an edge on the opponent, and the most important strategy you can ever use in the main assault on an objective in Battlefield 2042. Let me tell you why. Hello gamers and operators. My name is Icebergs, and today we're covering the tactics in Battlefield 2042 you need to use. As I already mentioned, the first tactic is flanking. Flanking is to approach the enemy from the side or both sides at once while their gaze is distracted and centered on the main firepower of your army. The key to a successful flank is to ignore what your team is doing. Nine times out of 10, your teammates attack the objective in a sizable, concise force and do not put much thought into strategy. This means you and your squad should use strategy to help advance on the objective. And flanking gives you and your team the element of surprise. In addition, it will let your squad rack up many kills while flanking. You're probably wondering, how will this help your team? And simply, no army has ever won a war fighting on two fronts. We saw this in World War II with the Germans fighting the Allies on both fronts, and previously when Napoleon tried to fight a war against the Spanish and Anglo-Portuguese forces. If your flank succeeds, your team will be able to advance and cover a considerable distance. However, even if you fail, you will have still weakened the enemy for your main force to come in and quickly wipe the remainder out. This strategy, if done correctly, is excellent. If done correctly and fails, it will still allow for success for your team. Flanking should be the first strategy you use in combat and the most essential strategy you ever use and be so well done, it becomes muscle memory. The following strategy is better to quote. I have the high ground! If you haven't guessed it yet, the strategy is to have the high ground. This is one of the most straightforward, easiest, and most commonly misused strategies. Having the high ground is good because it gives you a longer line of sight on the enemy, but inversely allows the enemy to see you very quickly as you will stand out against the blue background of the sky. However, many people mess up the strategy because they do not understand body positioning. What I mean by this is that if you can see the enemy just over the edge like I show here, then you will only expose your shoulders and head to the enemy. Alternatively, if you stand too close to the edge like this, you reveal your entire body, making you a much larger target for the enemy. The smaller the target, the harder it is to hit. Successfully using high ground enables you to rack up kills like a professional hitman and allow a squad of four to clean out a crowded objective. Chaos is a ladder, and those who use it can climb to great glory. Chaos and Deception are your greatest allies in Battlefield 2042. You have to use the enemy's chaos to press your advantage. There are two of the methods to using the enemy's chaos against himself. The first is to use a pinch and pull technique, or the bait and switch as some of you may know. The pinch and pull involves you tactically retreating to give the enemy the false sense of hope and have them press the retreating combatants. To do this strategy, you have to first engage the enemy with half of your squad, and then fall back into a planned position with greater cover and the rest of your unit lying in weight. This is the pull. You pull the enemy into an ambush where your team is waiting, and then you pinch them with a storm of bullets that they walked into. This uses the enemy's eagerness to deceptively lead them into a strategic trap and cause chaos they would not expect, especially with this uncommon strategy in a battlefield game. The other method to cause chaos 
needs a little assistance from someone in a helicopter or aircraft. This strategy is called the Hot Drop. To do this in Battlefield 2042, you will need a squad filled with Sundance operators and one teammate to fly a helicopter away from whatever objective or building you are trying to take. The pilot will need to fly significantly higher than the objective and besides it. It cannot stop moving, but must slow down in order for your strategy to work. You will then yeet yourself out of the vehicle and maneuver onto whatever objective you are trying to take. The strategy works best with assault rifles and submachine guns to allow for quick aim down sights and fast retargeting. You should try to consolidate your squad to whatever the highest or most secure place is in the objective. And as soon as you get boots on the ground, open fire. This is a successful method for a distracted or unaware enemy force because you and your squad can hot drop in, stack bodies, and take an objective in a matter of seconds. These are quick and chaotic strategies uncommon in Battlefield 2042 and are surprisingly easy to do. The following strategy revolves around armored ground vehicles. This is the most straightforward strategy in Battlefield 2042. First off, let me say this. If you play Battlefield 2042 by sitting in a tank or other armored vehicle on a hilltop away from the firefight, you should not be handling the armored vehicle. Armored vehicles are made to press the enemy backward with infantry support not be the small artillery pieces in the back missing their shots. The proper way to use an armored vehicle on Battlefield 2042 is to advance along a street or other pathway with infantry stacked behind the vehicle and on both sides of the road, clearing the buildings. This strategy works because you can have large groups of enemies suppressed by armored vehicles and smaller groups of your army clearing buildings and picking off stragglers who might try to destroy the friendly armor. This is a mutual relationship for the armor. The armor advances and holds off the main force while the infantry advances to take out the stragglers. A true yin and yang system. This whole strategy falls apart if you do not do your job. If your infantry, clear the buildings and cover the armor. If the, or the armor, cover the large, let me repeat, large groups of enemy combatants, which will lead you to victory in every engagement when you can use armored vehicles. The last, and always most crucial strategy, is teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, and a good team with the strategies I detailed previously will always succeed. Finally, you need to play with friends to make a good squad. No game is fun without friends, and Battlefield 2042 is no exception. This is a true with any first person shooter game you play. You will be a great Battlefield 2042 player and a better teammate using the detailed strategies. Still, you have to remember the essentials. Don't attack head on, flank if possible. Keep the high ground when you can. Chaos is a ladder, so make a ton of chaos. And finally, armor is your best friend in the main assault. It will save you if you save it. If there's any strategies you didn't know or any of these techniques you want to learn more about, let me know in the comments down below. I love to have a conversation with y'all talking about Battlefield 2042 techniques and strategies. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, stay frosty. You know, fuck that bagel eaters toast is where it's at. I do not understand that reference at all. You don't have to. It's just a statement of life. That was such, that was such a most American thing I've ever heard. Yeah, fuck them bagel eaters. <laughs> toast for life. Give me toast or give me death. If you don't eat toast, you're basically a communist. Holy I got shit, you line. motherfucker! I'm wearing them down for attrition. I got we clicked to spawn at the two of them were all in anyone. Yeah, you're going down, buddy. Is that Angel up there? What the fuck? Oh, little bird. Shit. See you in hell, buddy. Shit, yeah. Oh, we all hit A2